This is a fight of faith. Don't lose faith. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. The Apostle Paul, in many of his writings, uh, addresses the lifestyle of a believer with military terms. There are places where he refers to us as being soldiers, uh, serving God. Uh, in other places, he tells us that we wrestle with principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this age. And even in other places in the New Testament, like how Peter writes, and he says, you know, uh, we are, are, are involved in a conflict against an enemy, the devil, who is like a roaring lion going about seeking whom he may devour. So there, are, there is an opponent that we are engaged with. And what is this opponent after? What is this enemy after? He is after one thing, our faith. And that's why the Apostle Paul says, fight the good fight of faith. It means the devil is after our faith. Our trust, our believing God, our confident assurance in God and His Word. That's what the devil wants to rob us of. He wants to, rem he wants to strip us of, of that faith. Now the Apostle Paul warned in 1st Timothy chapter 4, he said, you know, in the last times uh, there will be perilous, grievous uh, times that come in where some will even depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. So you see, uh, the enemy is, is very active. There are seducing spirits, there are all kinds of demonic teachings and they're going after one thing. They're going after our faith. They want us to deny our faith. But you and I are going to be in a place where we refuse to do that. We are going to hold on to our faith. It also means that in this fight that we're engaged in, which of course is a spiritual conflict, it's not a, a, a natural conflict. It's not a war that we fight with natural means. It's not a fight of intellect. It's not a fight of physical strength, but it's a spiritual conflict. In this conflict, the one thing that we must use against the enemy is our faith. This spiritual conflict involves our faith. It involves us using our faith. The very thing the enemy is, come to ro is trying to rob us of is a very thing we use against him. Paul puts it like this, he says, take the shield of faith with which you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So understand this, the fight that you and I are involved in is a fight of faith. The, dev the devil is after your faith, after our faith in God and our faith in his word. But it is that same faith that we use against the enemy. He wants to rob us of it, we're going to stand up against him with faith, in faith, faith in God and faith in his word. Fight the good fight of faith. Let's pray. Father, we just pray and ask that you will help us fight the good fight of faith. That even as the enemy seeks to rob us of faith in you, faith in your promise, faith in what you've assured us, off and Lord that our faith will become even more stronger that the very thing he's trying to take us take out of us will grow in us the very thing he's trying to rob us of will become something we hold on to even more tightly and intensely help us to fight this good fight of faith in Jesus name Amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.